That should come here, just a bit into out. Yep, good. I want you to imagine, Buck might have talked about this concept, but what's happening a lot of the time is the ball's there, you're trying to hit it over here, and your hands are finishing this side of the ball. When you watch Manus, you watch Tendulkar, they would drive the ball, their hands would go to mid off, and the ball would go to mid on. They would almost top spin it, which is the opposite of a slice. So I want you to think about trying to get your hands sort of almost, like you're driving down the ground, but you're almost trying to get your hands going to mid off. Right, I'll throw six out, then we'll chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up in the clap of the jump? Yeah, running away from the slump. Yeah, I am the one that they want. Yeah, I did not follow the pump. Yeah, I did not buy the right? jump. Yeah, I did not buy the pump. Lights are right. I want to die a legend. So I apply the pressure. Many has many laws. I took the vitamin doors. Yeah, just to be done. Have you used a swinger ball? Oh, this is a bit older, not heaps, I don't think. Just hot, that's a bit held in the wicket a bit. Good, all right. That's the one that you obviously got you yesterday, but swung more. Get in your stance for me. Please. Okay, so I think we need to open you up a bit. I feel like this, so we obviously we want to get side on. But something that Buck says, if you start two side on, you have to come this way, and then you don't come back again. Yeah. So it's better to start a bit more for open, yeah, and, and then cool. turn into the ball. And I reckon with the setup you've currently got, you will be vulnerable to that big in-swinger, which you were yesterday. Because you're sort of like, you, and, and that sort of causes your head to go over there. Yeah. So from our hits on, online, the key for me for your batting is two things, is your tempo, and then to try and be as still as you can. When you trigger, I was, and I was watching the, dismiss, the two balls yesterday hit on the pad, your head probably starts there, get in your stance, starts there, probably finishes here. Because you trigger across, and then you get lower, and it keeps coming with you. So if you watch A.B. de Villiers, and he's one of the best trigger, he does a double, he goes bang, and his head very rarely moves, the eyes don't drop, and he's done and he's set as the ball's being bowled. So some people do like to get a bit of a crouch, flip does it, but the key for me is we've got to try and stop that head going that way. Because when you're going that way, it just makes everything hard. Back foot, straight, you can cover drive fine, but everything else is tough. So get in your stance again. I'm not so much concerned about your feet. Your front foot, let's take your front foot. Yep, there, okay? Now let's mostly just relax this shoulder and just open you up a bit. So your head is more like that yep. than like that. Yeah? And then as you trigger, trigger, I want you to try and like it, it go there, like you're coming at me, yep. not going there. Yeah, so you gotta make a real conscious effort that it actually doesn't matter where, what position you're in before you trigger, because it's the moment the ball's released. So, trigger, and you're there. And you're, like, even there, I want you to come a little bit, like, exaggerate, almost at that cone over there. Because yep. from this position, you can go anywhere. You can go forward to a foot straight ball, you can go across, and you can go back. But when you're over there, that's, you can only keep going that way. Exactly. So that has to be, I think, our aim over the next few days plus trying to just stroke the ball. Friday, you were excellent stroking the ball. That was the best I've seen you for a long time. But we've got to keep this out of the way, relax this big shoulder of yours, and try and get your weight going at the roller. That way, trigger and that way. Yeah? So I'm gonna try and swing them back at you and blow your pad off. From there, you'll be faster onto your back foot as well. When I've seen you recently, you've been slow onto your back foot at times. Pulling's fine, but you've been slow to play your back foot drives and punch because you're sort of over here and you have to sort of get back, whereas if you're more balanced, you can get back quicker. Yeah? yeah? I'm gonna do a few where I fake the throw as well. Now trigger, better. You need to do it at normal speed, but that's, the min that's about as much as you need to move. 
So shaping up for that ball that got you yesterday, I reckon, Chum. You've got to be shaping up for that every ball, expecting that and then reacting from there. Good. Coming at me. Good. But that there, that position there, right? You, you sort of came down the wicket. A lot of coaches would say you've got to get across to that. But for me, that's okay. All you then, you're coming at me, and then you just turn your body to hit that ball. So come, come in front of me. Come in front of me. So you're here, you're coming at me, and you can turn and still hit that. But when you're over here, as you found out yesterday, if it swings back in, you're in trouble. Like you watch Manus, and his foot pattern goes there, and he hits through the leg side. And when he cover drives, it goes a bit further. But he can turn and, and just trust his hands out there. So I think where your weight was going there was excellent. Keep coming at me. Good. Yes, good. Good, come at me. Do you want that? Do you want to come this way more? Do you want to come this way more? I'll just throw, like, go a bit more, chum. Yes, that's the ball. That's the ball you're hunting, every ball. Now, it looks like there's still sun in your eyes. Good. Huh? Yeah. Well, we can do some underarms. If it's really annoying, we can do underarms or something. Yeah. You come this end. I literally want you to just tap the ball. Just stroke it at like 20%. We want to slow everything down with you. You're so fast, but we want to slow down. Focusing on you. You've got to get your timing, your trigger. It's hard with underarms because it's so slow. So you move too, way too early, way too early, slow, wait for it, we'll move later. Good tempo, but you're still too early. Yep. Good tempo, excellent tempo, but move later. Okay, I want you to try something else here. It'll feel a bit weird at first, but get in your stance, please. Actually, give me a bat. What you're doing is you're triggering and picking your bat up, and then you're sort of like stepping and then hitting. I want you to try and go trigger. As you step, you pick your bat up. Instead of going up, stop, hit, we want to get rhythm. So it's, it's just like this high. Trigger. And as you step, you go up and down in one motion. It'll create some effortless power. It'll create some whip as you step. So pick your bat up. All you want to think about is pick your bat up as late as you can. All good. Late as you can. Keep using your front side. Good. Okay, tempo is excellent. That's what I've asked you to do, but I feel like you're being a bit lazy. No, no, not worried about that. I want you to, I just want a little bit more energy with a slow swing. Yeah? So move late, a little bit more energy, but keep your swing slow. But pick up late. Better, better. Bit of flow. Head coming to me. Good. Good. How does that feel with timing? The cones were out and you How's that feel with timing? Weird? Yeah? Good, it's different. Good. I'm just going to try and find something we can use. Okay, where, where are you triggering to? Do your trigger. 
Right, start normal. Start where you were. Good. Lovely shot. Hello. I'm glad you didn't bend down then. I am so glad I didn't bend down. Okay, your feet are a bit open. That's why I put the glove there. So you're just stepping like that. We want to try and cross our feet over a bit. There, and then that'll keep your side on. Okay, even though it's slow, cross those feet over, head forward. Yes, that's the best one. A bit, you got there, because you're thinking about a few things, right? You're getting a bit confused, which is normal, and I've said about five things. You're just going, you're just going. But then that one, you actually like, actually used a bit of body weight. So we're trying to get weight coming this way, but you still got to get weight down and on top of the ball. Not bad. There we go, chum. That was stronger. Right side pulled. Much better. Got to dominate the swing with your right side. Good. Good. Okay, I want that ball. Fourth stump should be coming here if I'm bowling over the wicket. And if I'm bowling around the wicket, it should be coming here. Pull with your right. Pull through with your right. Yes, nice shot. Nice chum. Pull with your right. How'd that feel? That was awesome. That was longer with this right side rather than letting this come around. Good, and do a tempo, not trying to hit it too hard. Slice. Didn't use your right as much, didn't get as much weight forward. Yes, better. Better. Good, nice shot. Good. Getting better. Can you underarm me a couple, please? Yeah. Getting better. Nice dick, eh? Like yeah. Probably on the heavy side for me, but with your big guns. Right, first three is what you're doing most of the time. Yeah, I'm going to try and show you what I feel like you're doing. Okay, and again. Okay, and again. Okay, one more. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what I want you to do. And you, oh, you gotta tell me what the difference is. Tell me the difference that you see. One more. What do you notice? What's the difference? No, like the first couple you did just sort of like there wasn't really much shape to it. Yep. And then those last few sort of was more like sharp. Yeah. So the first thing I'm trying to show you was what I feel like you're doing all the time. Getting your stands. Okay, move to hit. It's just all a bit upright. It's all a bit upright and just like hit, like just like hit. Yeah. Then I was trying to show you about like, okay, I want the ball to come coming and now I'm going to go into the ball. Yeah. I'm trying to move late, but like I'm here and then I'm getting into the ball with a bit of energy. I'm not trying to hit it hard, but I'm getting energy. Yeah. I feel like... Because it's slow, you're being very slow. You're going... Rather than like actually getting into it and stroking. It's not hitting it, still stroking it, but energy. Yeah? 
Yeah, it's better. It's almost gone, I reckon. Way better. Keep doing this though, I want to do this for a bit longer. Shots, better, better. Better. Pull through with your right side. So what I mean there is you're pulling the bat through there, not pushing with your left. Not bad, a little bit of a push. So chum, these have no pace on them, right? These are coming into your bat at about 30 k's an hour, let's say. You don't need them to come out for this drill. You don't need them to come out at 100, 120. Because when the ball's gonna come in at 100, it'll come out at 100. So don't try and overheat them. I want energy, but not trying to like smack them. Good, good tempo. That's a beautiful shot. Transfer your weight. Close, getting better. Shot, nice shot. Good chum. Little slice, but better, better, bit more energy. Still stroking. Yes, now we're talking. Not bad. You've just got a slight tendency that as you swing, you just come this way and then you sort of almost finish behind the ball. We've got to try and keep that right, left side, left hip out of the shot as long as possible. That's it. That should have come here. Bit into out. Close, close. That's a good shot. How'd that feel? Yeah, exactly. You can only focus on one thing. So the thing is that batteries, like I've given you 10 things already. It's your job to try them and work out what gets you the best end result. And then that might stuff up and you go to something else. But I'm giving you lots of ideas and I'm creating a bit of confusion in your mind. And the best players, they can think through the confusion and, and you, you get better at problem solving by practicing. So that's why I'm like, I am confusing you. And people watching this video might be like, oh, you said 10 different things, but that's the whole idea that will create you to being a good thinking cricketer. You can problem solve fast and quickly because you're able to go, okay, that doesn't work, let's try this, that doesn't work, let's try this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, with that work then, focus on it again for a few. That should come here, just a bit into out. Yep, good. I want you to imagine, Buck might have talked about this concept, but what's happening a lot of the time is the ball's there, you're trying to hit it over here and your hands are finishing this side of the ball. When you watch Manus, you watch Tendulkar, they would drive the ball, their hands would go to mid off and the ball would go to mid on. They would almost, top spin it, which is the opposite of a slice. Yeah. So I want you to think about trying to get your hands sort of almost, like you're driving down the ground, but you're almost trying to get your hands going to mid off. That's a beautiful shot. No slice. And your tempo's good there, chum. Yes, now we're talking. Quality chum, quality. Chum, this is completely different. Last four, completely different. So much better. Yes, blackers. Not bad, bottom hand pushed a little, that's all right. Yes, that's off stump. I love that it's going there now. Quality. 
Beautiful chump. So much better. How's it feel? Yep. But you're all of a sudden, you're actually not really going to mid off, you're actually following the ball. Yeah. Whereas before you were always sort of going there. Yeah. So it's so much smoother. Do you reckon that, that would obviously turn your hip too if, you're, if your hands Yeah, are... of course. It's, everything works in line. So if your line goes round, and it could be that your hip goes first, and then your hands go, or that your, your bottom hand takes over. Yeah. So what you're thinking about is just going to mid off, it's actually just lining you up. So that thought is lining you up through the ball. Yeah. It's awesome. I've got another little thing to add to it to get more weight, right? I want you to focus on that, but try and get onto that front foot, lift your back leg and hold it. Get off your back heel. Yes, I like where that went. Hands were good. Get over your front knee. Yes, how's that feel? No, it was good. I'm happy with it. Good. Nice tempo. Didn't try and overhit it. I like it. Okay, that's leg stump. When you're playing at your best, that should be going like square leg. You should be crossed over, head forward. I'll show you footage of this tonight, tomorrow when we're together. Crossed over, head forward, and you're whipping that ball through there. Because if, if you get in a habit, of on driving from leg stump, you're never going to score through the leg side. They'll just set a mid, a mid on, you're not going to hit leg stump anywhere else. So we've got to get used to, even with no pace in the ball, crossover, roll it leg side. I'll show you footage of that later. Nice, nice. Getting on top of it. Use your height and get out on top of the ball. Top side, front side, right side. Beautiful batting chum. You what? Well, you got to work on it. Keep coming into the ball. All good. That's the first miss hit since I said that concept. The rest have been excellent. Tracking straight lines. Beautiful shot. It's four every day of the week if you can hit there from over the wicket. Love it. Don't try and overhit it. You're hitting them beautifully. Don't try and overhit now. Yes. It might feel different, but the outcome's way better now. So good, that chum. So good. Effortless power. Good. Uh, we haven't spoken about your trigger for a while, which only when we were on the sidearm. But that's something we're going to stay on top of. Yeah. But you can only focus on one thing. You've been focusing on your hands. It's, your shape is much better. We'll go. That's good. I'm really happy. It's just more your upper body I'm looking for, looking at. Nice. Good tempo. Excellent chump. Bend that front knee. Little slice. You can feel it? Good. Excellent. All right, I'm going to come into your pads, middle and leg. I want you getting weight forward, clip, and almost come down the wicket after you hit it because your weight's so far forward. But you're right, like it's, a, it's an on drive, and I'll show you this footage. It's an on drive and then roll it, not, a, not a, like a vicious flick. Good, beautiful shot. Good, more weight forward, finish down the wicket. Yes, that's a great shot. When there's pace on the ball, that goes for four. That's all you have to do. 
Even more weight forward though. Yes, chum, I love that. Off stump, I love where that's going. I love that, Blackers. Pulling, pulling. Good, awesome. Even more, you're a bit here, I want even more weight forward. Out over it. Yes, chum. I'll show it one more and I'll show you a video. Good, that's off stump, excellent. Do you want to get a drink? Awesome, awesome. So much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up in the club at the jump? Yeah, running away from the slump. Yeah, I am the one that they want. Yeah, I did not follow the pump. Yeah, I did not roll with the chump. Yeah, I did not buy the pressure. I wanna die a legend. So I apply the pressure.